today uh, the signify the meaning of light for that we should start with what is signify or what is signify about signify is a formerly known is formerly known as philips lightning the dutch multinational lightning corporation from formed 2016 um, the company manufacture li electric lights and light fixtures for cons consumers professionals and the internet of things this company still produces lights under the Philips brand, and uh, it, it has a really big patent portfolio which can be licensed. Um, all in all, Signify has about 3,900 patent families. Patent families means um, um, the invention itself, and the uh, patent families are uh, become became around 16,420 patents. This is um, from 2022. Um, despite, here you can see the CPC classes of the 3,900 patent families. It's still in the core field where it's about lightning itself, light sources, semiconductors, but the subclasses are mostly about, um, how should I say, intelligent solutions like um, wireless connections, um, control of lightning, sensors, the connection of sensors, and the application trend for, for the potential portfolio of Philips Signify is steadily increasing. You can elect the last three years because uh, patents or patents applications are uh, published 18 months after the application or the application is filed. So the last three years doesn't really count, but you can see almost all the patent families they filed achieved a grant or have been issued. So now I give word to Mosen, who will introduce one of the um, use cases. Therefore I have changed. Thank you. Okay, uh, I wanna show you that the a beautiful uh, video about uh, Optus Stadium, uh, one of the most beautiful stadium in the world. Uh, for a stadium, uh, the most important thing in a sport is people prefer to go out to a stadium, not stay in their living room and watch watching a sport lively. And we need to make uh, playing and watching a sport more enjoyable. We need to generate more revenue from a stadium and atmosphere. We need uh, to make a stadium more integral part of the uh, community. So we must uh, encourage the people uh, to go out their house and come to the, the stadium. Please, next slide. The people must uh, touch a, a unique experience from a stadium in uh, Optus uh, for the management, uh, for broadcast quality, for best live viewing, uh, signify, uh, do lots of things. Uh, you can control anytime, anywhere for lighting show. They can, uh, they, they manage scene for entertain, for in, inform, for ad advertise, for pre-programmed scene. And uh, these are really the easy for use it, uh, to control it everywhere, anytime. Next slide, uh, Johannes, please. Uh -huh. For taking uh, full control of venue lighting, and uh, I said to you, uh, uh -huh. you for using light uh, to concentrate, for energize, and for relax athletes and performance, uh, they are working a lot. And next, Johannes, with Interact uh, Sport, you can collect and share data about activities you can. Uh, integrate uh, lighting and other building system, uh, system. You can improve the fan and player experience. You can generate more revenue from lighting show and you can make your revenue smarter. Interact Exports make it possible for lighting across the entire stadium to be controlled through one dashboard from the pitch to the catering areas to the facade. And the uh, uh, I take the floor to Trita, I think. Um, I'm the next one. So um, 
Here we uh, identify two key patterns from uh, Philip's Signify portfolio that contribute to the generation of exclusiveness of this use case, uh, namely uh, interact sports. Here we have a patent from uh, 2016, where it was granted. It is enforced until 2030 at latest. And as you can see, it is owned by um, Signify, or in this case, uh, by Philips, which transferred the rights afterwards after the grant to Signify. The purpose of this invention is to provide an atmosphere program management system, which is easy to use. An atmosphere program management system uh, is a system which stores all the programs, the atmosphere or programs on a server. For example, when you are in a stadium and um, for a certain time of year, for a certain event, um, when this is repeated in another location or another times, um, you can download the same atmosphere and the same program to any stadium. So Signify offers an exclusive cloud-based service, which also leads to other CPC classes, which are not as present at the moment, but I think they will come in the future. I give word to Tarita. Thank you, Johannes. So our focus is on the use case of scene management. And another pattern that we found was very um apt and very suited for scene management was this crowd entertainment pattern and what it does is creates a crowd entertainment system so previously in or at the moment in stadiums they reward crowd behavior but typically in a very ad hoc manner so the producer would um, utilize cctv cameras for example and in a very ad hoc manner uh, rewarded with light or sound. This particular crowd entertainment system relies on a computer implemented system and it creates a particular ambience and rewards particular crowd behavior. So what it does is it collects data from various aspects of the stadium and they have particular scores that are attached and whichever part of the stadium has the highest score would be rewarded and the ambience that is chosen for that particular part of the audience is determined based on the composition of the crowd. So it would either generate data um, on the spot, so live, or it can do it um, beforehand through use of ticket databases, for example. And that data would look at your gender, your age, and all of these different factors and then there are preset um, ambiences that it would then choose the appropriate one. So it's using data and scientific information and algorithms to determine how they're going to reward this crowd. Um, of course, a lot of things happen live um, in these crowds. So it also has particular algorithms that look at crowd synchronization. It looks at the particular volume um, of the crowd and then determines whether it's positive behavior if persons are cheering on their team or whether it's negative behavior that they should not um, be highlighting or rewarding in any way or form. And this particular ambience is then um, created using the synchronization of lighting with audio. And if you go to the next slide, you would see that they have also incorporated crowd um, interaction and participation where the crowd can now determine what their what their particular experience is going to be like so part of this pattern includes these wearable devices that you see on the image on your left so where for example there is a particular synchronization of the crowd there are sensors attached to this motion device where it can reward it so if you're doing a mexican wave the computer can pick this up and reward this behavior um, by putting it on a particular screen, maybe the television screen, and also combining the lighting and audio. If you go to the next slide, so we can now see directly how this particular pattern creates value for the customer. And in this case, the customer is, of course, stadiums and stadium owners. So 
it first of all creates a desirable ambience. So it adds to the experience and takes the experience beyond what exactly is happening on the pitch or on the field. It also allows for a wider target audience. So there are always persons in the crowd or always persons who may not be avid sports fans and may have zero interest you know, in going to any of these games. But where you are able to actually have a further experience and experience the excitement of it, whether or not you're actually interested in the game, this could actually allow the stadium to you know, attract a wider target audience. Also, in terms of um, entertainment opportunities, these can also expand because, of course, now that there are a lot of more um, effects and it's not just about the game, they can also expand, for example, to other cultural events or um, other performances um, that are not sports related. It also um, creates value because it has increased crowd interaction. So the customers of the stadium, so the persons who are actually part of the crowd, they now have an enhanced experience. They can determine what the experience is going to be by doing particular actions or synchronized actions. And so they're actually giving their customers a better experience and more experience. And of course, um, another um, value creation for the customer would be the ease of use because everything is automated. There are preset um, ambience that you can use. And therefore, of course, it would be a lot easier than having to constantly manually monitor all of what was happening in the stadium and then in a very ad hoc manner reward this. So I will now pass you on to my colleague as we look at potential use cases and application areas. Thank you, Tarita. So now that we know what greatness we can do in a stadium with Signify, that is almost matching the greatness that Eintracht Frankfurt delivered on Wednesday when the uh, won the uh, Europa League, uh, where we had 150,000 people in the streets of Seville wanting to join this game, where only 40,000 uh, seats were available. So you see, Signify can almost match what Eintracht Frankfurt can bring to the world. But uh, on a more serious note, uh, we had a look here on uh, three development areas. First of all, by adding use cases to the application area sport, uh, we believe that Signify can even improve their service offering to the market. But more interesting would be the application of these use cases from uh, the application area sport to other application areas. And we will have one example here for you to, 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 to see. Uh, and then last but not least, Shupei will take over and will explain to you how to extending use cases in other application areas will also help Signify to tap into the uh, to even wider potential. But let's go uh, through all this. Uh, first of all, we believe that uh, by adding the use case of space management, uh, I believe one or, or two of your groups will also deal with space management in, in your uh, subject field. By adding space management to a stadium, we can potentially reduce uh, the risk for, for fan congestion uh, in the stadium, uh, uh, simplifying the flow of people inside or outside the stadium, or even regulating uh, the usage of toilets in, in the breaks by showing where the toilet is, is less uh, frequently uh, visited uh, and, and uh, consequently steer the crowd in, in that direction. So we believe by adding this use case uh, into the application area of sport, that would be even uh, uh, um, uh, a better value, would uh, deliver a better value uh, to the usage um, um, to the um, to the stadiums that make use of it. But uh, we believe that adding two new um, application areas would even give signify a bigger market potential. And we start with interact cruise ships. There are a lot of cruise ships in the world, and we believe by bringing whatever uh, uh, Signify is doing in the stadium to a cruise ship that obviously does not uh, host 40,000 or more people, but still it's roughly 5,000 people in a cruise ship uh, uh, of the size that you see here on the screen, we believe there is a, a great potential for Signify to extend business. And why? That, that is what you see on the next slide, Johannes. 
where we believe if we take the application areas of sport, which is mainly light management, scene management, and bioadaptive lightning. So bioadaptive lightning in the case of a cruise ship would be that you regulate down the light level, let's say at midnight, so that uh, people that are still hanging around slightly uh, uh, infused by alcohol, that they understand it's time now to go to their rooms and, and, and have a rest. Um, but also adding more general application uh, use cases that you will talk about in your respective uh, groups. By adding all this into an interact ship um, um, application area, we believe that uh, we can really um, um, drive this business where we see that uh, on average, uh, there are uh, way more than 20,000 light bulbs installed in a ship. That gets us close to what we see in a stadium. There is a lot of light bulbs in a cruise ship. Um, just to pick two of the benefit statements here. Uh, take the um, take the bioadaptive lightning as a support function at recreational areas of a ship, spa, pool, uh, and the likes. Here you can really play by uh, absorbing or, or recording data from which time of the day it is and how many people are there and how they behave. We could regulate the, um, uh, the whole recreational areas by steer crowds uh, in, in that particular space, but also uh, pump up or low down the uh, engagement level of the people. And last but not least, uh, uh, cost control function of the energy optimization is also something that we could bring to the ships. Right now, almost all light bulbs in a regular ship are just eliminated, costing uh, energy, uh, which is usually generated by diesel generators. But now by introducing uh, an interact ship system where we then uh, steer the lightning based on the uh, relevant uh, number of people in any given space, we can potentially reduce uh, the usage of, of energy in a ship. Uh, and thinking this forward in terms of other IT protections uh, than just patents, you can see that uh, Signify already it makes great usage of trademarks. There are more than 1,500 active trademarks globally, uh, with a lot of trademarks linked to Signify's um, um, uh, to the Signify brand. Copyrights obviously is also something that is highly relevant when it comes to artworks and app icons and software and the likes. But we believe that the real beauty of interact ship when it comes to other forms of IP protection lies in uh, economic cooperation agreements. Think about the following. You enter as a guest a, a cruise ship and you connect your uh, smartphone with the lightning of, uh, of your room and then you use Siri or Alexa. Similar as what you do at home when you come home and say, Alexa, turn on the light. You can do the exact same thing in your, uh, in your guest room on a ship by just uh, making that connection uh, and having Signify and being fully incorporated in the Alexa or Siri hemisphere. We believe this will significantly increase the guest experience on Interact Ship. And with that, we take you now with Shupei to a completely different application area. Thank you, Stefan. So um, Stefan already explained how we transplanted um, the application area of uh, Interact Sport right into the cruise ship. But now um, I'm doing it in a different direction where I'm taking the, 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 the scene of sport and extending it, extending sport into homes and as well as to businesses. So for example, like pubs. Next um, slide, please, Johannes. So very simply put, um, today, these days, when you build a house or if you're constructing a new house, in the past, people would say, okay, you need light, you need a technician. But these days, no one says, okay, you need a technician anymore. They say, you need to get yourself a lighting designer. So this is becoming more ubiquitous, ubiquitous in households. And we see that um, now that um, the market is, is more accepting of lighting design and lighting services, we could extend the, the sports into people's living rooms as well as to pubs. So one form that we could see is how, you know, um, users, for example, fans, fans of the football clubs while they're enjoying a game, they can also choose, for example, a fan package, they can choose a choreography, and optionally, as an add-on package, they can have this connected with sports analytics. So this is where the whole like digital digitalization um, um, journey enters the living room. And I'm sure many of you will cover that as well. Um, we've also transplanted, for example, the use cases. So scene management, lighting management, as well as 
haptic feedback. That's the last one. Yes, um, which they could also integrate into their living room. And this could be on a paper use package or in a paper order package, etc. And we also see um, what's possible is for cooperation with um, audio companies and again, sports analytics companies. So basically with um, cooperation agreements, et cetera. So in terms of IP rights, um, many of you will know this. So we, 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 we see the entry of patents, trademarks, but also very importantly, licensing agreements and as well as lock-in effects for the use of compatible products altogether. Next slide. So just to sum up um, today, we handled Interact Sport and we are looking forward to hear from the rest of the groups on city, retail, industry and hospitality. Thank you for your attention.